Good morning and welcome to Bill and Val's allotment on a bright, well not a bright Saturday morning. We uh, grew or growing some self-blanching cauliflowers but due to the heat and then three days of torrential rain they've blown. Looking pretty minging, pretty even yeah. I'm not going to eat those. Yeah, they're, they're not very nice. No. So what are we doing today? Today I'm going to clear this bed. I've got a couple of cabbages hopefully in there that we can use. I'm going to take all the beans out. Yep. And then clear it ready for another crop to go in. Righty ho. Well, I'll let you get on with that because I have got a few things to do myself. So we'll see you soon. <laughs> then Bill. Alright. Yeah, so you've done this area here. Yep. Now you left one in. This has been left on purpose to save the seed from these. It's just gonna let it go and they're dry on the pot on the plant. Yep, absolutely. The, the aqua de loose. Yep. They've done well for us and they're acclimatized to our area. Okay, so this area here now has all been cleared ready for we're going to put some sweet in here. Okay, what's the variety, do you know? Invention, have a look at that. Well, not to worry, we'll, we'll, when we plant that. it, we'll tell. It begins with an eye, I don't know. All right then. <laughs> okay, so we but, didn't have much luck with pots, did we? No, we tried them in pots, they didn't work for us. So, but these have been grown in the pot to be transplanted out. But, yeah. uh, hopefully we'll get some. Because, believe it or not, 13 years ago, here is where we had our best ever crop of Swede. Okay. They were called Ruby, I think they were. Right. And, uh, or Marion, one of those two. First year we were on this plot, 13 years ago. Okay. All right, well, perhaps if you can find out exactly what they were called, oh, damn thing. we should try them again. What? Look at that. Last slug. Yeah. Yeah, joyful. In any case, cabbage are looking good, or are they collies? No. They're sprouts. They're sprouts. There you go. You yeah. see, I, I knew I'd get that completely wrong. Uh, where are we off to now? We're going over the other side because uh, I've got uh, a couple of cauliflowers to plant. Uh, not cauliflowers, cucumbers to plant. They're right. in the cold frame. They've been in there a bit too long. All right, we'll be over there in a minute. See you then. Okay. All right, as you can see, the wonderful... Oh, butterfly. Um, no, the wonderful sweet williams are still doing well. They did get smashed about in the bit in the middle. So um, I've been cutting them today uh, to try and reduce the weight of it and obviously get a lovely basket for myself. Uh, but here, so here is where we are. Now, Bill, you're planting. These are the markers here. Yep. On this side. Okay. And tell us about them. They're outdoor cucumber. Right. Rough skin, you know, so they have their little spines on them. Yeah. But uh, we haven't, I don't think we've ever grown an outdoor cucumber. I don't, I don't believe we have too. But um, that's, uh, that's a good thing because this is all new for us too. So we put this little bit of matting down in the middle so they could sprawl because we were originally going to have them going up, weren't we? Yeah. Well, we're going to try going up, but uh, they were supposed to go where the peas were. Right. And the peas were supposed to be finished, but everything's so far beyond. Oh, it's a year. nightmare at the moment. We're just. Uh, they're going to go. Really yeah. trying to uh, 
get it sorted. And as Lovely. you can see, this one, the space saver, has already got fruit on it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, so awesome. So we left those a little bit too long, didn't we? Yeah. Well, they're supposed to have gone out last weekend and it was a bit too warm, wasn't it? Yeah. Then we've had nothing but rain. We have, and you can see that by the soil. It's just really lovely yeah, and, and wet. But um, So we're not going to water these in. They don't need it. No. Uh, we are due rain again tomorrow, aren't we? Well, we're due rain in a couple of hours, apparently. It's uh, been trying this morning on and off, hasn't yes, it? Yes, it has been spitty. Do you want the label that way or that Oh, way? it doesn't matter. Whatever you, you decide. So that is the cucumber bed. Yeah. Awesome. Lovely job. Okay, into the greenhouse um, to sow some more seeds. See you in a minute. Right, so we're going to almost finish today with these beautiful sweet Williams. Now. Oh, thank you, darling. There he is. Hi, sweet William. They're prettier. Um, but what I'm going to oh, do is <laughs> tell you what, oh, no, what we did. The end now, yeah, you put them up the end. Okay, so um, I just need to get the camera in the right place. So give us two seconds and I'll be back. Righty so I've got two trays of uh, moistened compost here. And these are for sweet williams. And now is your time to do them. Um, now, the what we say is it's the summer solstice. So we're looking at the between the 21st, 22nd of june when you need to sow them these ones that we have now are a double mix and i'll leave all the details on the end as usual um so bill lets me do this because he's not really that bothered about flowers bless him he likes to look at them when they're done but uh, that's about it now there's a lot of seed in there so hopefully they'll also do me the following season as well so just broadcast them very gently and finally if you can see them i can't see them at all as i'm sprinkling them over now they don't need any special treatment at all they don't need any heat or anything like that but i do like to sow a lot of them where possible because as you saw um, they're absolutely glorious if you do them in a nice big batch as it were so as i say i can't see so i'm kind of like gauging what i'm doing and hoping i'm i'm doing it right but who knows i did it right last year so fingers crossed that is going to be okay so with that all i need to do is pop on some vermiculite if i could hold this thing there we go that's rather a lot <laughs> let's just chuck some on there now William you're watching me how how thick or thinly should I be putting this vermiculite on because I never know a bit more okay yeah. cool 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 right now I know how to hold it pour it on pour it on pour it on pour it see because I don't usually get the opportunity to sow anything but uh, flowers or um, parsley when people can't do that or um, you know nasturtiums it's, um, it's kind of like a bit tricky for me so how about that yeah, do. that'll do yeah. all right so so say it's moistened yeah. so this is your time now to do them um, then planting out is going to be round about the equinox so that's the um, 22nd 23rd of september is when you plant them out and they go all over winter and then produce the most glorious things you could ever want so that is those done so now we're just going to go off uh finish off with our harvest well i don't know because you forgot to put the labels in no i didn't where's the labels well i've written them oh well, but i haven't forgot them oh look you get I'm out gone, of town I'm gone. See you in a minute. Right then, Bill. So finally today, our harvest here. So we've got sweet William mix. Sweet Williams. They're a double mix. Yep. Gorgeous. Yeah, like me. That's my first picking of those. So there'll be more to come because they're still producing yep. flowers. What have we got here then? A couple of Wheeler's Imperial cabbage. The yes. last of them. Aqua de Luce after we shut them all. Yeah, that's four, four planets. We've got some... Um, Asparagus given to us by our friend. Yes. These are early green 
broccoli. Yep. And a mixture of the strawberries. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, mm. so not a bad harvest that, for uh, today, which is the 20th of June. Yep, it's all doing well. Brilliant. So on that, if you'd like to do the usuals for me, please. I'd like to say thank you very much for your comments, your thumbs up and your support. And hopefully we'll see you again next week. We will have a lovely week. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.